All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to discreetly hide your games that you may not want other people to know about from both your Steam library, so people in your house can't see it, or people that might be watching a recording right now can't see it. Uh, and also, you can change it so that when you play a specific game and you want your friends to see that you're online, they won't see any activity from that game, so you can do both, be online, and pretend like you're not playing a specific game at the moment. So let's say that you want to, for whatever reason, hide the game House of Lizards. Uh, this is actually a game that's been sitting in my library unplayed, installed for a couple years. I should probably review this or uninstall it. It looks weird, so let's just say that this is some weird game that you don't want people to know about. So you got a couple of options. The first one is you can right click it and you can hide this game from this sidebar menu entirely. So like you can hide SCP Secret Laboratory and when I hide the game, it disappears. But when you close everything, there's nothing to see. There's no like extra category of hidden games. It's just gone. Uh, if you want to see it, you either have to like search for SCP and it'll show up here under hidden. Or you can open up your hidden games by going to view. And then inside of here, you can look for hidden games and it'll open up the section where all of your hidden games are hiding. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty well hidden. They don't even know that it's hidden because it's so well hidden. I'm not really sure what scenario this would be super great to use in, but it's there if you want to use it. The other thing that you can do is for House of Lizards, I have the option to go to Properties. And one of the things that's kind of interesting about this is under Privacy. So you can hide this game in the library so it'll disappear entirely which I just showed you. Alternatively, if you don't care that, you know, your brother or sister or mom or dad or uncle or wife or whoever is in your house with you sees the game installed because they don't care, you can mark this as private. So you can click that and what this is going to do, you'll see there's a little eyeball over here underneath of the manage uh, gear tab. Whenever you play this game or I play this game, I can still show up as online on my friends list, but this will be hidden stealthily from both my profile and my uh, friends list, so people don't know that I've been playing this game. I can play it and no one will be the wiser and I don't have to change my privacy settings to hide all of my game activity just because of one game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's your options, you can hide it, in your library so people physically can't see it in your house or in your account. That could be handy, I guess, for streaming. Uh, or you can mark it as private so people don't know you're playing it. Wink. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Those are your two options. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Um, you can change it in your settings so that nobody can see what games you're playing. They can only see if you're online or if you're inactive or AFK or whatever. Uh, but this is just specifically for one game, which is kind of nice if you actually want to be sociable. And that's how you let people know that you're all online and available, even if you're not, say, logged into a voice chat. So, yeah, have a good one, everybody. And bye.